In studio guest today for BT Bloggers Week is Carlin Johnston, The Kitchen Magpie. You can read her blog at thekitchenmagpie.com. Today opens fishing season in Alberta, and you've got the perfect dish. Yeah, I do. We're just going to do a really simple shore lunch whitefish, something that any fisherman can take the ingredients for in your kit. Uh, we only need water to moisten it. This is actually how I blog, camera around my neck. Uh -huh. It may look a little bit weird. I've never cooked like this on breakfast TV. But this is how it goes, so I'm going to show you exactly what a food blogger does, how we shoot it, and I'm lucky enough that Ryan's going to cook the fish for me right now. I've never heard people say they're lucky <laughs> enough that I'm going to cook, but thank you very much. Okay, so you've got the cast iron uh, skillet here ready to go. Do you have butter in there? I use margarine today because you're cooking it, so just in case we don't want the butter to burn. Okay. Butter burns easier, so I'm using some margarine. Okay. I like the taste of butter better. Now, this is white fish that you pulled out of which lake? Gull Lake. Gull yep. Lake. Okay, so this has uh, been waiting for this moment, uh, this is a real personal <laughs> touch. How do we get started on actually battering this up? I'm going to actually have you do the skin on white fish. You can start one right now. We're okay. gonna try it plain. Now I heard that you always go skin on, or the skin side down first, is that crisp, right? Crisp it up first. Okay, so I'm gonna drop that in there. Yep, okay. we'll try this, and it's about two minutes per side. Now it's gonna cook really quick, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and this points out that food blogging is a lot about experimenting. So I'm trying two different kinds at once. I may blog about both, or one of them may be absolutely horrible and I'm not gonna write about it. Well, because the whole, uh, for a lot of people, the whole point of visiting a food blog is allowing the blogger yourself to make the mistakes, to do the yep. experimenting, because they wanna know how do I cut to the chase and come up with the perfect Exactly, lunch. if you saw the recipes in draft that I have that absolutely bombed and I haven't had time to go back and redo, there's probably about 70 in there. Okay, so, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of yep. uh, sort of experiments and, and find, oh, hitting walls and finding failure before yep. you find success. You okay. bet. Now, so, are we going to season this stuff up here? We are. And if you want to zoom in on these fillets right here, I wanted to show you how there's this line of fat. Okay. So when you make the choice, and I'm going to write about this, when you make the choice to leave the skin on, yeah. this brown fat right here is very fishy. So for people... You mean taste-wise? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, taste-wise. And they also say that the toxins in a fish are also in here. Okay. So I remove it um, because my husband doesn't like really fishy flavors. Right. So when you take out most of this brown fat, we're ready to go. Oh, let's see. Okay. Does that look done to you or no, should I maybe crisp, let it go a little longer? Crisp it up a little bit crisp more. Crisp it up a little more, okay? Yep. So I like when we're doing a plain, I take out the brown fat. Yeah. So you can definitely start seasoning okay. that up. Now it's okay this doesn't need an egg bath or a milk bath or anything. This no. is going right into the seasoning. That's the wonderful thing. I really like these mixes and okay. I'm trying them out. You just need water and what fisherman doesn't have water? Uh, you have to stay hydrated. They just have to be moistened with something. I can't imagine anyone's going to bring an egg in their tackle box. Yeah. That's Although just if you a disaster. Do, kudos. Uh, for those that weren't watching earlier, we should let them know that if you're looking for this batter, you can find it at Cabela's, right, or any other outdoor sporting store. Yes, there's tons to choose from. I like to use uh, garlic with my white fish. Yeah, why not? So I chose their uh, roasted garlic and butter. But Carlin, it was interesting so. to hear you talk earlier because you're very aware of the amount of fat that you're going to find in the fish because that impacts what you want to use to cook it with or what you want to use to batter it up, right? Well, in the taste as well. See that? That's looking really good. So uh, now I'm feeling pressure because you're yep, photographing I what am. I'm doing for your blog. Well, so, this is how we cook. We got to get the moment in action here. We got to get it sizzling and brown. You you almost can't fake these moments. Because if people are visiting your website, thekitchenmagpie.com, you, oftentimes you'll be able to see the step-by-step -step process, yep, right? That's exactly. the whole idea of why people are going yep. there. They look at you as counsel. Okay, so am I going to throw in another one of these fillets here, yep, side by try, side? Can we do that? Why betcha. don't we drop this one in? Because they are only about two minutes per side. Okay, well, so. we've got you here for another 40 minutes or so, so I'll tell you what. Why don't we uh, put the call out to our viewers right now. If you have any questions about cooking fish, about preparing food like this, or, hey, a question about blogging, send it to Carlin. She's got like 12,000 <laughs> Twitter followers. She's got social media figured out. You can tweet her at Kitchen Magpie. We've got her photo posted on our BT Edmonton Facebook page. That's where you can post your questions. We'll be back in the kitchen. As BT Bloggers Week continues, when we come back, there are more from the Alberta Railway Museum. Bridget Ryan checking in on this Wednesday morning. Gonna be a fish friend.